Where are you? You never came to see me at the hospital. And now this? Where are you? Pick up! Stop ignoring me! I know you can read this! Ugh, shut up already. You read the note, right? I'm back at my parents' house. Why? You really don't know? Bruno, you... You broke the bracelet I gave you. I'm done with you. Hold on. That's why you left me? Yeah? I said I was sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. I told you that. You tried to help someone that was falling down the stairs, right? But now you're in the hospital. Yes, I tried to fix it, but... How could you break it in the first place? You're terrible. What? It was a gift from me to you. Are you insane? I'm your wife. How dare you? What? You serious? You're not even worried about me being hospitalized? See? All you care about is yourself. Look, I'm really sorry about the bracelet, okay? But it was an accident, and... Stop making excuses. What was I supposed to do, huh? You shouldn't have broken the bracelet. But what's done is done. That's it. I want a divorce. You don't even make that much money. All you do is make excuses. I'm done with you. I'll send you the divorce papers tomorrow. Wait! Bye. Hello? Is this Bob? Yes, it is. You're Mr. Nelson's daughter, right? Yes, I'm Nancy. Thank you for coming to see me at the hospital the other day. It was really nice of you. Of course. And thank you for saving my dad. How are you? Much better, thank you. I'm already back at the office. Oh, okay. But, uh... Yes? I heard some rumors. You got a divorce because of the accident? Ah, yeah. Oh, no. I feel so bad. You were just trying to help my father. Don't feel bad. It was my wife. Things between us didn't work out. That's all. You living by yourself now? Yeah. Um... Yes? I actually live in the neighborhood. I've seen you around a couple of times. Oh, I had no idea. Um, not sure if I should say this, but your shirt is always really wrinkly, and you're always running toward the station in the morning. My point is, you haven't been the same since the divorce. Oh, um, uh, this is embarrassing. If you don't mind, can I help you? I can do things around the house for you if you want. What? What? Oh, uh, wait. You're still in college, right? I'm already in my 30s. I can't let you do that. Please. I lost my mother when I was young. My dad raised me single-handedly. And you saved his life. It's my way of saying thank you. But, uh, what will your father think? I already told him. He thinks it's a great idea. Oh. And I talked to your parents as well. What? After the accident, my father exchanged contact info with your parents as well, so... Oh, right. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Can you hold on? Sure. Sorry to keep you waiting. It was from my mom. She told me about you, and what you just said to me. She was worried about you too. I guess I could use some help. Okay then. Can I help you then? Um... Please. Okay, um... Thank you. Hey Nancy, I just got off. I'm heading home. Cool. That was graduation. Good. Congratulations! Thanks. Um... Yeah? It's just that it's already been a year, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Well, we've only been dating for six months, but still, time flies. When you first offered to help me, I wasn't really sure, but I'm glad I listened to you. And your dad, and my parents. <laughs> but hey. Yeah. A year ago, you were a mess. Really? Yeah, you look terrible. I couldn't stand seeing you like that. That's why I offered to help. I see. I knew it was a mess, but I didn't think it was that bad. I'm just glad everything worked out. Yeah, it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Nancy. Of course. Oh, I got some cake and champagne. You graduated from college. We gotta celebrate! You talking about the new cake store? Yeah, I got the chocolate cake. Yay! I made some fried chicken, too. Your favorite, right? Yeah! Can't wait. Be home in a bit. 
Okay. Bob, you ready to apologize? Stop being immature, pick up. Who is this? It's me. Who? I'm gonna block you now. Hey, it's me, Liz. Stop messing around. You miss me? What? Oh, I thought I blocked you. Hey, stop. This is your last chance. Huh? I'll ask you again. You ready to apologize? For what? For breaking the bracelet I gave you. <sighs> you probably had a lot of time to think after the divorce. Hope you learned your lesson. Oh, uh, like I said before, I'm sorry about breaking the bracelet. Good to hear. Okay then, let me in. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm sorry I broke it, but it was an accident. What? You're still saying that? Oh, wow. Uh, look, I was trying to help someone, okay? I'm sorry I ended up breaking your gift, but what else do you want me to say? What? But you broke my gift. That's why I'm mad. What's so hard to understand? So? You don't care that I was trying to help someone's life? You think I'm just making excuses? Yes, exactly. You should have just apologized. Now let me in the house. I'm glad I divorced you. Huh? I'm not always right, but when it comes to doing the right thing, you and I have very different values. What does that mean? You heard me. Screw you. Whatever. I'm done with you. Huh? Hold on. Fine. Let's just talk about this. Let me in. Last chance. There's no need for that. Stop bluffing. You know you want me to take you back. I got married last month. What? We've only been separated for two years. That didn't take long. In case you're wondering, I started dating her after the divorce. So I wasn't having an affair or anything. You never told me that. Why would I? We got divorced. Just let me in the house. I came all this way. Hurry up. You at the old house? What? I moved out. What? And I got a new job. What? The guy I saved, he hired me. I love my new job. So yeah, you won't be able to find me at my old workplace either. Wait, so you make more money now? I gotta go. This guy you saved, what's his name? Tell me. Hey, answer me. Why did she come back to see me? I asked my friends about her. After the divorce, she was telling everyone how miserable she was, trying to score sympathy points. But it didn't work. I guess nobody really bought her sob story. Anyways, she realized she was better off if she got back together with me. So that's why she came to see me at my old place. It was actually a really close call. She came over to the house just a few days after my wife and I moved out. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, I married Nancy. She got me through some rough times. I loved her. I owed her everything. Time to move on with my life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.